If there are uh, no buyers currently that you've seen who are crowdfunding, and this is a totally self-serving question, I'll say that right now, uh, are there any that you can think of who should? And I ask that because if, they, right, or who would yeah. benefit from it? If there's so much liquidity, where are they getting their liquidity? And will they run out, right? If the spigot really opens up in nine to 12 months, they'll regret not having sought alternate sources for capital. Uh, I certainly think, you know, if you go back to product type, if you go back to product type that I can tell you, there's all kinds of people that are raising funds for hospitality and hotel. You know, so I, I think anyone that has any expertise in crowdfunding, either with a hotel, teaming up with hotel buyers or things like that, I think that's an area. I also do think uh, there will be some aspects of multifamily. And I know there's been crowdfunding and multifamily from the point of view, just because, you know, ultimately, look, this will correct. This will correct and is a good old friend of mine in Washington, D.C. on 4,000 apartment units used to always say, in his whole lifetime, He's never had apartment buildings go to 75% or less vacant. And he, had, he also owned office buildings. And as he said, if the law firm moves out of my office building, I go to zero. So multifamily is always a very good and safe. And also, I think individual investors can understand multifamily better, the dynamics of multifamily. You know, I mean, is Amazon going to take over the world? I don't know. It seems like it. But it's harder to understand that, you know, will office, will work at home be 5%, 10%? What happens if it's 20%? I don't, you know, it's hard to say right now, you know, what demand of office space. You know, will we go back to the movie theaters? Yes. Will it be in this, or will we all start watching at Netflix? I don't know. I, I, I reminds me of a drive-in movie theater that I saw 30 years ago in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and it was for sale. And I said to myself, I should just buy that and hold it because it was cheap. Right. And now people actually go to drive in movie theaters for concerts and for movies. So, so, you know, it's, it's, it's so hard to predict some of these things. So I would think those two areas, certainly hospitality and retail and multifamily. Mm -hmm.